Hey everybody, just doing a, another Heresy Hump Day, um, just stuff that I've been working on. Um, I, uh, first I'll just mention, um, I've got this sort of board here, um, or this, this, this piece on my hobby desk, and I can't really show it really easily on camera, the whole thing, but I'll just sort of show it. I just made myself a little painting station out of plywood. Um, I was initially looking at these, um, and, uh, just buying one um, out of MDF or something like something like I was looking at the painting stands too that you put your paints in and um, for whatever reason I just felt um, I've got all this scrap plywood it's the same stuff that I made my marble board out of and so I just put this together with my table saw and glue and plywood and just gave it two coats of polyurethane and I just the reason I I have a hobby room but the reason I made this is my hobby room is in the basement and actually quite far down like a hall like away from civilization in my house and um, I have watched two kids in the evening and um, it's just a lot easier for me to have something like this sometimes to be able to just bring it up in the evening and paint while there's all kinds of activity going on in the house and I'm not really far from it and so because uh, otherwise I really don't paint as much um, in the evenings when I'm watching them if, if that's the case and so yeah I'm kinda happy with it and I'm just leaving it on my hobby desk right now um, at the moment I think particularly when I'm batch painting this is gonna be useful I think when I'm doing character models and stuff I'm you know just it's when I really need to kind of put in hours of just doing the same thing over and over again that I think it's gonna be helpful um, I've got um, some base paint on my um, French um, I always have trouble remembering the um, the name of the of the French that uh, that I chose for the um, French Indian War. Um, I actually have it uh, referenced all over the place on images that I've picked up, um, but um, it starts with an L. Um, and the reason I chose them was that um, they ended up um, there's a lot of white and blue in their color scheme. Now you might say that's all of French, but when you look at some of the different um, regiments in the French Indian War, um, not all of them um, are just blue and white primarily. I mean some of them actually have quite a bit of other um, and I actually have the name here, they're the Languedoc, L-A-N-G-U-E-D-O-C um, and that, I believe that's the name of an area in France from where the regiment came from. They have um, some gold trim and brass and buttons and things, but they're primarily blue and white, and that's really what I wanted. Um, it matches kind of the Marine, French Marines, even though they don't need to because they're French Marines, uh, Canadian Marines that uh, I have weren't necessarily from the same regiment, but that's also going to be the flag that I get um, from GMB. Uh, flags to, to use for this and so I actually like it's kinda nice it's just primarily blue and white and um, there's not as much red like some of them have red and things now the drummer um, ends up having a, a lot of blue and red and almost a com it almost looks like a completely different paint scheme so I'm wait I waited and didn't do really anything on the drummer the musician um, but uh, but yeah like I still have a lot of cleaning up to do and I still have um, some washes to do and the base and, and stuff but I I got a lot of headway because one I've been really itching to work on these guys I really like these miniatures and I can't wait to use them on the table but two um, October starts spooky Oktoberfest and other things I want to do and, and so I knew I was staring down a number of miniatures to get done in a short period of time this may creep a little bit into the first couple of days of October because I still have to do, um, I want to do the officer, you know, the officer I'm doing mostly the same but there are some differences and I still have to do sort of the um, bridle stuff for the horse and the horse itself um, and you know like he's going to be wearing um, yellow gloves um, as well but, um, but yeah I did the paint schemes for the skin I chose to do and I do this quite a bit is I took I did t primarily two different skin tones um, I did a lighter version and then a bit of a darker version um, it's pretty subtle let me see if I grab the right two yeah you, they are actually um, and I think after the wash it'll be noticeable too but th this one is considerably lighter skinned this one has a bit of a or more of a um, flesh tone hue um, 
than the other. And so I did that and I kind of split them in half. And I usually do that. And sometimes depending on the force, like my Screaming Eagles for bolt action, I split them into three actually. Uh, and so yeah, um, that's primarily what I'm working on right now. Um, likely the British stragglers that I have to do for my um, grenaders. Potentially a drummer, but I would like to get the drummer done, even though he hasn't been started yet. But the limber, my British grenaders and my artillery for the French are gonna come at a later time, um, likely after October. I'll probably um, be doing the drummer and finishing these guys off um, before I start my October projects. Um, and so yeah, that's kind of what I'm doing for historical right now, really enjoying it. Um, told you about the board that I kind of put together over the weekend, just this tray. And uh, sorry, my tripod's really old and it's starting to get a little jerky and when I, it's not as smooth as it used to be. Um, other thing I have, just while I've been waiting things for things to dry and things like that is um, I have uh, this guy, which you can see some of the detail a little bit better now that he's um, black. Um, but I have this guy primed, ready to go um, for Spooky Oktoberfest. I did have him fall over when I was actually priming and this snapped, um, completely snapped. It is meant to be joined, um, this major part of the blade at the hilt, so it's a piece you stick in, it comes as two separate pieces, so it just fell and snapped. So it was an easy repin. Um, probably should have did that to begin with. I, I probably should have pinned this. Um, it may have still had a problem anyway because this this is still fairly thin. Um, it's not that you know this doesn't. It, it it is a top heavy model. It's not like just with easy touching gonna knock over, but um, but it is something you know that definitely can happen. It'd be nicer if the base was a little bit bigger. I suppose I could put it on a, a circular base. Maybe I will give it a little bit more stability. I'm not really sure. The only other thing I did, and just this is just constant work in progress or whatever, but this guy's done ready for paint, and I'll likely do this guy among, while I'm working on other projects, but I primed him, which is kind of cool. It's really neat to see it all one color, um, just because it gives it that sort of... Um, it gives you the impression of a finished product to paint. You get to see it all in one monotone color which is really cool. I'm really kind of happy with this. So I'm going to paint this guy up, um, get him ready for the night, and because um, that'll be happening uh, amongst these projects, painting the night, um, likely after October. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's really cool as well. And that's really it. That's what I've been working on. Um, nothing really else to show. Um, and I hope you guys are having a good week. Take care.